Welcome to that tutorial dedicated to survey distribution and data collection with Sphinx. In this video, we will see what are the various instruments available on that platform to disseminate your survey and also how to manage the data you have collected on the online spreadsheet. Let's see first how to post the survey on the social networks. I can click on that button and get the access to Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn. I will click on Facebook to get to my personal account. From here, I can type the invitation to answer the survey and post the survey directly on Facebook. The online questionnaire is now available on my timeline and all my friends can get access to it. Let's see now how to perform an emailing campaign with Sphinx. On the DeClick platform, a fully integrated emailing facility is available from here. In this emailing environment, I can write the message, define the recipients, send the survey and monitor the campaign. Let's see how to write the invitation message, which is very important stage in the survey process. I have defined the sender here, the object of the email, and I have written the invitation message. I'm trying to motivate the respondents and to give them some information, for instance, about the time they need to dedicate to answer the survey. Once again, I can customize the invitation letter, adding some pictures or changing the fonts, for example. Let's see now how to define the recipients of the survey. In Excel, I have a list of recipients with emails and names. I'm going to upload them from that link named Recipients. I'm going to click on Add, import an address file, then browse on my computer to find the Excel file. That's it. When some specific information are available in the contacts list, like first name or name, I can insert them in the invitation message like this to have a more personalized message. After testing the emailing as many times as necessary, I can go to the final stage and send or schedule my invitation message to my recipients. On that new window, I can decide whether I would perform the dissemination immediately or if I want to schedule the sending for later. I can also select all recipients or focus on a very specific target. Let's go! From the distribution and collection environment of Sphinx DeClick, I can monitor the emailing campaign and I can also see how many responses I got every day and from the different modes of collection I have used. For very short and easy surveys, the link to the questionnaire can also be distributed through text messages. The procedure is very similar to the one we described before for the emailing campaigns. If you would like to integrate the questionnaire on one of the pages of your website, you could go to the dedicated section here and find the HTML codes necessary to create an e-frame or a pop-up. From the same distribution area, you can get the QR code that respondents may scan in order to get access to your online questionnaire that can be used for some specific events, for instance. On Sphinx DeClick, you can also purchase some online panel respondents. On that Sync Panel specific area, you can describe the sample you need in terms of social demographics, for example, and you can see, according to your choices, what will be the price of the contacts you need. Sphinx DeClick is fully compatible with the main access panel providers on the European market, like Toluna, Bilendi or Sint. 
If some of your questionnaires were printed and self-administrated on paper, you need to use that quick entry facility. Based on the information you have on the hard copies you received, you need to input the data for all the questionnaires you received through that data collection method. On the Sphinx DeClick platform, you can find a very useful online spreadsheet where you can see all the data you have collected so far. Many things can be done from that uh, online spreadsheet. Let's see some examples. For instance, you may uh, focus your reading on some more important variables of your survey. This is how to do it. You can also rank the responses. You can delete, if necessary, some very poor quality observations and you can unlock the data and make some small adjustments. Finally, the responses can be exported in CSV or Excel format if you want to analyze the data with another software. But when you will see the next tutorial dedicated to data analysis with Sphinx, you will not be interested in exporting the data. Thank you for your attention.